Yo, what is going on, guys? Hey, it's your boy Demon. I'm back with another video, man. And in today's video, we'll be talking about a former rapper in particular, if you don't know by the name of Terrence Rock. So let's get right into it for today's video. As for Terrence Ross, for being a Toronto Raptor, he spent five seasons in Toronto. Terrence Ross, the bench player, he came off the bench for the Raptors. As for his year, he was drafted here, and he got traded for Serge Ibaka in the 2016 to 2017 season to the Magic. And we're going to talk about his time and duration here in Toronto. So let's talk about this. All right, as for Terrence Ross, let's start this off back in high school. As a freshman and as a sophomore, Terrence Ross attended Jefferson High School in Portland, Oregon, where he won the Oregon 5A Player of the Year, leading Jefferson to the first three consecutive state championships. As for his junior in 2008-2009, he attended Montrose Christian School in Rockford, Maryland, where he was the first team All-Metro player after averaging 13.5 points per game after being the number one player ranked in Montrose. Midway through his senior year, Ross returned to Jefferson High School, but he could not play due to his transfer rules. On April 30th, 2010, Terrence Ross signed a national letter of intent to play college basketball for the University of Washington. At Terrence Ross to consider a four-star recruit by ESPN.com, Terrence Ross was listed their top five small forwards as for the 30 players in the nation in 2010. As for his high school, let's wrap that up and talk more about his college career and his playing days in college. Before Terrence Ross in the 2012 draft, as I said, he got drafted the 8th pick in the NBA draft class with prospects like Anthony Davis, Damian Lillard, Bradley Beal, and many more. As for Terrence Ross was coming out of Washington State, his college career is pretty much right where he left off after high school and the NBA now. In college, he averaged 12.3 points, 4.7 rebounds, and shot 36 from 3. But in his last year in college, his average was at 16.4 points per game, 6.4 rebounds on 37% three-point shooting. But after seeing his college stats, I could see why Terrence Ross was a top 10 recruit for his draft class after being drafted behind players like Harrison Barnes, Damian Lillard, and others. As for college, he earned many award honors like making the Pac-12 All-First Team, and he was also named an honorable mention for the Pac-12 All-Freshman Player. Also, Terrence Ross was named to the All-Pac-12 Tournament Team after averaging 15.3, 2.7 rebounds while shooting 58.2% from the field goal. So honestly, as for college, he did some damage as for his time playing with Washington. Next, let's move on to the NBA Draft. On April 1st of 2012, Terrence Ross declared for the NBA Draft for going at two years of college availability. But, like I said, on June 28th of 2012, Terrence Ross was then selected the 8th pick in the 2012 draft by the Toronto Raptors, with them having two lottery picks in the last two years in 2011 and 2012, in drafting Jonas Valanciunas the following year, as Terrence Ross fit on the team fairly well, and he had fit in with players like Kyle Lowry, DeMar DeRozan, and Jose Calderon, as they were looking for more scoring production for the rookie guard, as they didn't make the playoffs that season. As for Terrence Ross, he showed great promise and pride as a rookie, and let's talk about more for his memorable performances as for when he was a rookie. As for Terrence Ross, his first standard performance was against the Portland Trailblazers on January 2nd, where he got 26 points, as that was his first career as a rookie for a 2012-2013 season. In that season later on, Terrence Ross got selected to participate in the All-Star NBA Dunk Contest. In the Slam Dunk Contest, it had participants in it like Kansas Reed, Eric Bledsoe, Jeremy Evans, and others. But honestly, Terrence Ross, for a good showing in the dunk contest, he won with a good 58% of the vote being in his favor. This meant he beat former NBA dunk contest champion Jeremy Evans, which was a good thing for him to see. But honestly, this adds to the Raptors' slam dunk contest champions, as they had two in favor with him being himself, and another one being in Vince Carter. Then in the next year, in 2014, he then dropped a bomb and tied Vince Carter's 51 points for the most points scored in Raptors franchise history by a player. As that has never been done for a player like Russ Calber coming into the league as a rookie and as a second year player. As for that, for the Raptors franchise history, that's never been done by a sophomore player of Terrence Ross Calber. But on January 25, 2014, Terrence Ross scored a career high and a franchise tying 51 points in a 126 118 loss against the Los Angeles Clippers, as Terrence Ross was 16 of 29 from the floor. Also, for Terrence Ross, he had 10 of 17 from Yanni Yark, as his 10 three pointers were also career highs for his, for his 51 points as well, 
and he went 9 of 10 from the free throw line, and that's pretty good. As for Terrence Ross, after that, he was known as one of the best players to soon break out with the team after being a role player off the bench. As for the rapper who then made a playoffs for the first time in a couple years, Terrence was a key piece of the rapper off the bench as he would average 10.5 points and shot 39% from 3 on 42 field goal percentage and on 55% true shooting which is very effective for him being a bench player in the NBA as for his regular season numbers. As for Terrence Ross in the playoffs, he would average 5 points per game on minimal 3 point shooting as he lost to the Brooklyn Nets in 7 games anyways, so it doesn't make sense. Then later on November 2nd, 2015, Terrence Ross signed a 3 year $33 million contract with the Raptors as I kept him suited there for 3 more years. Terrence Ross averaged 6.3 points in 17.5 minutes or the first 7 games of the season as he came off the bench in all of those games. Also where Terrence Ross then missed 6 games with a left thumb injury but then he returned to action on November 20th and he scored score 8 points in the 102-91 win versus the Los Angeles Lakers. As for Terrence Ross, he made his first start of the season on November 7th, also against the Lakers and scoring a career-high 22 points in place of starter that was injured, Damari Carroll. As for Damari Carroll with Luna team, I think Terrence Ross getting a start unlocked his full potential. On November 28, 2016, Terrence Ross set a season high in points again in a 114-101 loss versus the Detroit Pistons, then it then led to later on March 30th, where he scored 13 points in a one 5 to 97 win or the Atlanta Hawks, having the Raptors secure a 50 win threshold for his first time in a season after franchise history. Also, then meant for the Raptors are going to the playoffs for a third time and went to the playoffs in back to back seasons for a long time. In the Raptors regular season finale on April 13th, Ross recorded a double double of the season with 24 points and 10 rebounds off the bench in a 103 to 96 win with the Brooklyn Nets also. But for Terrence Ross, he's a very good role player and played his role as for the Toronto Raptors, and he had been a good contributor off the bench for when Raptors needed him. The Toronto Raptors finished the regular season with the second seed in the East as they had a 56 and 26 record. After beating the Indiana Pacers in seven games, as for the series was 4 to 3 in the first round of the playoffs, the Raptors moved on to the second round for the first time since 2001. In Game 1 of the Comets Browns against the Miami Heat, Terrence Ross set a playoff career high with 19 points in a 102-96 loss. As for his playoff run, the Raptors had a long playoff run as they would win and another 7 game with their dogs through the Miami Heat and they would play Cleveland Cavaliers and get and lose in 6 games. But on November 28th, then later to the next season in 2016, Terrence Ross then scored another season high of 22 points in a 122-95 win with the Philadelphia 76ers. Addy also set another season high on November 12th and scoring 25 points in a 122-100 to win with the Milwaukee Bucks. But as for his time in Toronto, he had many great moments here as he's a fan favorite and loved by many fans here in Toronto. But as for February 14th in 2017, Terrence Ross was then traded along with a 2017 first round pick to the Orlando Magic in exchange for Serge Ibaka coming back in return. The then led Terrence Ross' tenure to Toronto coming coming to an end, but for all stories there must be an end as Terrence Ross had many memorable moments as I said here, but Terrence Ross was a great fleet, a good scorer in the NBA, and it then led to him playing with the Magic. But honestly, for the Raptors it wasn't a bad trade because they got a championship player in return for Serge Ibaka, and it helped us out in the long run, as for a trade was a win-win for both teams, and it turned out well in the long run. But Terrence Ross, though he had some injuries, he was a period for the Magic as he averaged 13.3 points, 34% from 3 on 41% field goal shooting, so he was playing the Magic pretty well as for his career. But this move helped Terrence Ross out because it gave him more production on the Magic than when he was with the Raptors. But as for now, Terrence Ross then plays the Magic and he's very much happy as he's a good role player there. But as for Terrence Ross with the Magic, he then missed some time due to the 2016, 2017, 2017, 2018 season because he had a MCL injury and he had a foot injury in those seasons. But it then sent him back for a bit as he's pretty much on track now with a young team to manage their building in Marco Falls, Pablo Banchero, Franz Wagner, and others in Orlando. But as for Terrence Ross, the trade meant that he was on a rebuilding team in the NBA, though he would love to play for a contender. But as for Terrence Ross, as he's on a building team in Orlando, I think he would love to play for a contender, but where do you think he should go next as for the great time in Toronto to where he got shipped in Orlando? Let me know your thoughts and your boy Demi. I'm signing out for Terrence Ross, a very great player. 
He had a very great young core and he's playing with in Orlando now, so I don't know if he wants to stay there or play as a contender. But let me know your thoughts, and this is my thoughts on Terrence Ross and his time in Toronto leading to Orlando. So if y'all are new, hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Sorry, this video's a bit rusty. And your boy Demi Adams, I know how great about the yo. Peace.